All right, check it out. We got another brand new show planned for you this evening. As always, I'll be your host, True Form's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. And you're listening to Exploring Mind and Body. Tonight, we're talking about a life detox and the fear of being alone. All that and so much more coming up on... This is Exploring Mind and Body with True Form's Drew Tadia, fitness expert on 96.5 CKFM. I briefly talked about detoxes before. You hear so much about detoxes. All controversial in my eyes. They're good, they're bad, beneficial, detrimental, all the same. Who's right? Who's wrong? I'm not against detoxes. I don't think they're all that bad for you. I don't think they're all that good for you either. I can't speak from experience because I've never tried one. But to me, it's better to live a detox life, have a detox diet, and take care of yourself. Pay attention to what you put in your body, which is as equally as important as what you put on your body. I'm reading a great book I'll tell you about later that actually recommends detoxes, which again, I'm not against. It tells you all about how great detoxes are, how beneficial they are, and how healing they can be for you to find that rejuvenation. I get it. We all need a break from toxins. doesn't matter where you go. We'll find toxins somewhere. But again, I have to go back to living a detox life. What's the point of going through some sort of fast for a few days and then go back to your regular detox life? What if we all cut out one toxin from our daily lives instead of a detox or every time we detox? Wouldn't that make more sense? We eat chemicals every day. Unfortunately, so many people are unaware of what goes in our bodies. It's near impossible to cut out most toxins. But what about just one? Just one toxin out of your life and move on from there. What if we decide to start reading packages of food? What if we start eating more organic foods? There's so many things we can do, but most of us in our get rich quick or fast food, fast service, throw away society, don't stand much of a chance. Most people are looking for that weekend fast or 21 days to glory or whatever you want to call it. Day in and day out, we put toxins in our body and do the same on the outside of our bodies. We don't consider toothpaste, water, creams or lotion we use. What about actual soap we think is cleaning our bodies? Sorry, folks, there's chemicals in all of these things that pollute our bodies with toxins. Toxins that our bodies would love for us to flush out. But first, we're going to have to stop putting them in our bodies, voluntarily no less. One of the most difficult things for me is to explain to beginner exercisers is it's going to take time to see results. We've lived this certain way for years. How is a 30-year-old going to come to me after living a very sedentary life with little history of good nutrition, work out for a couple weeks, and ask me why they haven't seen results? My first answer is, how long have you lived the way you have? But it's no one's fault. I truly believe that. This is the way we were raised. This is what's been passed down. This is what we know. We'd rather go to Walmart, buy the cheapest whatever, have it break, throw it away, then buy another one. That's what we do. That's why we think the way we think, and that's why our environment is in the epidemic it's in, and that's why our bodies are in the same epidemic. It's a long chain of events that all add up. Unfortunately, we always wait far too long before we do anything about an issue. If it's health, we wait till the good doctor tells us we have a real problem. Take this medication, and hopefully the side effects don't outweigh your real problem. We feel sick and miserable, so we try a quick detox and expect to feel like a 20-year-old in a couple days. We treat the environment worse than we can fathom, treating any other human. And now everyone has to go green to pretend they care. This is all a system of how we think, how we do things how we react to problems or situations, and how we live everyday life. Do I think a detox could help? Maybe. From what I read, there's a good chance of it. Do I think it will solve our problems? Absolutely not. Not until we take responsibility for how we treat our body with every choice we make. Not until we cut out real toxins that go into and on our body. And not until we educate ourselves and make ourselves believe the truth. In the next segment, I'm going to talk about a different kind of detox. I have a blog I've talked about a time or two before, which can be found at trueformlife.com. I write about many things, but mostly life. Situations we're in, things we go through, the ups and downs we're faced with, and of course, there's health and fitness involved as well. One weekend, I decided to get away. Spent some time alone, and I'll state shortly, when you're alone, all you have is your thoughts. So I usually write about what I'm thinking about at the time. Detox and being alone is what this one is about. I wanted to share with you some of my thoughts and some of what I write on my blog in case anyone listening wants to check it out from time to time. Hope you enjoy. We're afraid to be alone, aren't we? We're afraid of our thoughts. We're afraid to sit in the dark and think. 
We're afraid to go to bed without the lights or TV on. What's so scary about our thoughts? I don't understand this. Technology has given us exactly what we want. Never to be alone. Seems like that, doesn't it? Seems like that to me. Of course, there's Facebook, which I won't even start on. We have cell phones you can take anywhere. In fact, we take them everywhere. Cell phones we talk on, text on, play games on. Then, of course, there's different apps or downloads where we can communicate in different ways. Picture apps where we can make people look like zombies or movie stars. We have walkie-talkie apps in case you don't want to pick up the phone and dial a number. And that's just the tip of the iceberg. I don't even know what iPads or tablets do. <laughs> Seriously, I don't. I'm not a big phone person or technology person for that matter. And I'm sure there's a hundred different ways to communicate I don't even know about. Also, we don't have to be alone. I plan on spending some time by myself on the weekend, which is going to involve a detox. I later changed my mind after finding out one of the ingredients shouldn't be consumed at all. So that lost all credibility. I did find myself in a detox though, a technology detox. Not entirely, but without a phone and without an internet. I stuck with my laptop because I wanted to get some work done. Some real work I've been putting minimal effort in. I'm going to be a real author soon, which is very exciting. In fact, our official book launch is May 26th, which I'll tell you about later in the show. I want to be alone and get rid of distractions so I can make some real progress. Authors often use seclusion when they're writing. You don't have much when you're secluded. All you have is your thoughts when you're alone. And how about relationships? That's a write-up on its own. I'm sure we can all agree upon this one. Or be in denial if you want. It makes no difference to me. I bet all of us have been in a toxic relationship one time or another where we stayed in much too long. We were miserable, but the mere thought of being alone was more painful than whatever we were dealing with on a daily basis. Of course, it's a twisted way of thinking, but we all do it. For whatever reason, we stick around hoping things will get better, but they never do. And when things finally get bad enough or the other person's forced to make a decision, we wonder how things became so bad and how come we stayed so long. Whether it's turning your phone off, going for a hike by yourself, or just sitting and thinking with your thoughts. It's not that bad, I promise. I'm not sure I'm like most people though. I'm one of those people that enjoy being alone. It's not scary to me, it's welcoming. You know what's scary to me is people. More scary is that they don't know the power they possess. We all have this power. More power than we're willing to give ourselves credit for. Each person we come across alters our life in some way. It could be positive or it could be negative. Nonetheless, our path is altered. A person could make your day with a simple smile or they could put you in a bad mood with the honk of a horn. A complaint about your services is as destructive as a compliment could be uplifting. One minute you're feeling on top of the world, thinking you're doing good, and the next moment a phone call could make you feel smaller than a dust mite. One person could make you reconsider your career path, and one person could push you further than you ever imagined. That's right, people. We all have this power. We all have the ability to alter lives, and we all do. But we don't fear people. We fear being alone. We fear our thoughts. We fear our emotions. We live afraid. When I spend time alone, step away from the everyday life, words can't explain the energy I gain. I wish that everyone could feel that. I think we lose a little bit of that energy not knowing what it's like to be alone, not spending or making that time to be alone with only our thoughts and emotions. I always feel inspired when I step away and recharge. I always get new ideas and have a slightly different outlook on whatever it is I'm doing. I wish that same energy for all of you, and more than that, I wish for us all not to live afraid. Exploring mind and body with True Form's Drew Tadia would not be possible without the help from the following sponsors. Merle Norman, Health Street, Shoppers Drug Mart, and the CLC Fitness Center. Uniting together for a healthier tomorrow. To find out more about Drew Tadia and True Form Life or to become a sponsor, visit trueformlife.com. All right, we got some events I want to tell you about. I couldn't be happier to let you know what one of our True Form members is up to. Dorothy Keith, who's a French immersion, first grade teacher, longtime True Form member, and featured on our radio show right here a couple times, is now taking health and fitness into her own hands and to the next level. Dorothy was the definition of a very beginner when I met her, especially when it came to food. I'm very proud to announce she'll be holding her own event with healthy cooking, French style. She's asked me to read the following. If you're interested in learning how to prepare a healthy, multi-course French meal, speak French in a restaurant, and acquire health tips to enhance the nutritional value of your meals while still keeping them tasting great, join me May 15th at Olds Elementary School from 7 p.m. to 9 p.m. This event includes a French vocabulary lesson, guided conversation, samples of recipes from my new recipe book, La Mower in Your Kitchen, and a free copy of the book to take home. To plant these little seeds in each individual and watch them grow 
and take off on their own means more to me than words can express. It ensures in me that what I do does make a difference. And we can come together to live in a healthier world. I'd like to thank Dorothy for being brave enough to organize her first event. Not only plan it, but go through with it. I'd like to wish her all the best. And I truly hope every seat is filled. With her energy and enthusiasm for food, French, and life, this night's sure to be a hit. The other announcement I wanted to tell you about is another Shakes and Smoothies event at Health Street. This is taking place on May 26th. You can pre-register now. Don't wait till the last minute. There are limited spots, and the last event sold out within a week. Speaking of last events, they couldn't have went better. If you're interested in purchasing a copy, visit trueformlife.com for details. We recorded all the shake recipes on a DVD, actually showing you how to make them. There's a bonus oatmeal recipe from myself. We have an up-close and personal information segment on superfoods, and there's even some entertaining outtakes. So be sure to check that out at Health Street or trueformlife.com. A special feature about this event is Rick Kohut, holistic nutritionist, and myself have announced our official book launch. That's right, yours truly will be a published co-author very soon, which is very exciting to me. The book is titled Elevate Your Health, and it's all about living a healthy lifestyle. This will be easy to follow, step-by-step guide to a better you, a perfect combination of Rick's nutrition background, which complements my fitness background, to give you the perfect combination of optimum health. If you sign up for this smoothies event, you're going to get a free book and a quick introduction of what it's about. Our next event will be a workshop on how to actually use the book. We've all picked up books or audio tapes with the best intentions of learning, but never use it. So we've got a solution for that. Even though this will be very easy to follow, the two of us will personally go through the step-by-step guide so you're sure to get every benefit possible. The rise in obesity, unhealthy, sedentary lives, and prescription drugs has to come to an end. We have to do something about it. It's time we take charge of our health. Take responsibility for a growing epidemic, and it starts with each one of us. Join us for our book launch and take the first step to a brand new you. I have some very exciting news for myself and true form regarding my Complete Truth Protein Powder. Last week, we filled our first long-distance distribution order to Duncan, BC. I've gotten great feedback already and couldn't be more excited about it. Sales are consistent, and after a couple of our shakes and smoothies events, Health Street is also having a hard time keeping their shelves stocked. I'm telling you, we're taking the industry by storm. Everyone is going to be on this, and everyone should be. This isn't the pyramid. This isn't the fad. This is the truth. This is the real deal. If you're not involved, you're missing out. In case you'd like to be reminded of what I'm talking about, let me read you a forward from my recipe book. This product was made for you. It was made for us. For those of us that deserve better. We deserve to know what's in the products we consume. We should have the option of a product that doesn't have a countless number of ingredients. Names we can't read, spell, and certainly without research, know what they mean. This product was designed to counter the norm of the industry. It was designed for the average person, like you and me, that expect more of ourselves and that demand more of the industry. Those of us that want to purchase products that aren't deceiving, those of us that want real, healthy food, wait no longer. I bring you a product for us, for the new healthy, with no added substances, flavoring or coloring, nothing stripped or heated in the processing stage, My search for the perfect product has come to life to raise our status quo. Without soy, gluten, nuts or whey, no fillers or preservatives. For not only the average person, but for every person. I present to you the Complete Truth Protein Powder. Our journey together begins now in true health for a healthier world. True Form Life. Thanks for listening in health and fitness for a better world. I'm True Form's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. We'll catch you next time. You've been listening to Exploring Mind and Body with True Form's Drew Tadia, fitness expert. For more on True Form's Drew Tadia, visit trueformlife.com or call 403-510-4915. Exploring Mind and Body with True Form's Drew Tadia would not be possible without GDK Gravel and Sand. They've got the best rock for your road. Call them today, 1-877-335-2091. That's one 877